Hi, it's day six of the Goddess of Stardom, and oh my god, Black Desire has jumped Tampoy backstage and are killing them. Look at Kid Choke Boy. Oh my god. Go ahead and say it, Extra Emily. Little bitch. And Starlight with the Asai Moonsault, and now the match begins. Black Desire bullying Tam and pounding on her. A complete beatdown as Poi craw Poi's for being beat Poi, so Kid slams her down Poi. But Tam is a goddamn warrior and does this to escape. But there's no Poi to tag. And Black Desire, double team, no. Tam finds a way and brings them both down and tag Poi. Poi, cross Poi, and now aggressive Poi. Powering up for Brock Poi, no. Momo with the extra stats and poise, and she goes. Momo Watanabe, always a fan of Momo, and she tags in Starlight, and they go high speed, and Kid easy takedown, and an easy moonsault, and in Tampoy with the double kicks, and neckbreaker, and more kicks, in comes Tam, with immediate tiger suplex exchange attempt with Starlight Kid, knee attack, but Tam with the roundhouse, and tiger suplex, Momo has to save, that move beats people. Tam back on Kid with the violet screwdriver. Tippy toes? No! Kid with a black tiger suplex and Poi with the save. And now a massive Brock Poi! But Momo has a condo in Suplex City Poi and Saki Kashima with the starlight clap. Little bitch. Momo with the bee driver and Starlight Moonsault. One, two, Tam kicks out. Big double team finish, but Tam blocks and Tam Poi goes Brock Poi. Poi calls to her friend for the dive Poi, but Tam is too hurt and can't. So Poi takes the call of the action and dies for her own destiny and lands her Joseph Campbell dive. Inside Tam Poi with the double Super kick boy Tam with the knee one two kid kicks out Tam with the twilight dream but tosses into a Momo kick and now Momolachi nope black tiger driver blocked and double kick to the noggin and starlight whips Tam but Tam reverses and kid goes into the chair of Momo oh no Tam with the violet screwdriver tippy toes and yes one two Three! Melt here with the victory in a great opening match. And boy, topples on Tam. And the friends. The friends here. Um, guys, they're friends, right? I'm not reading into it, right? Right? Next is, oh my god, someone's gonna win today. We have Waka Wild, who has the forever winless Waka, as well as the capable Saki, and they're facing Wing Gori, who has Saya Ida, who doesn't win much, and Hunan, who can easily Hunan this. And action right away, and already Saki helping Waka, and right away Waka being tossed around, and don't you dare Hunan, Wing Gori, and they Hunan. And why an elbow after that? And then three straight covers because that actually might legit beat Waka. And in comes Saki and Saya and oh, Saki just shoved two fingers into her gut. I don't think I've ever seen that. And oh my god, and spin, not the spin. And look out, Waka Hanan Hanan. But it doesn't matter. Saya with the comeback and in comes Hanan with all the momentum. Only two. <laughs> what are you doing? doing. So Saki deflates all her momentum completely with a suplex. And now Waka slaps the ass and slams the ass. The ass. Now a strike off. Watch out Hanan. That will trigger Waka and Hanan with a complete miss. That was a complete miss. And now more ass slaps and some dancing by Saki and butt drop. 
Waka now on fire, and oh my god, she covers! And no! Waka trying desperately, but Saya with the strike and judo throw by Hanan. But Waka kicks out! Hanan lifts up Waka, but she reverses, and instead of doing a tiger suplex, she just rolls Hanan into the same ending of one. But like, what are you doing? And now, Wingori with a Hanan attack, and this cool suplex from Hanan, but Waka kicks out again! And a big slow motion box driver for the Hanan! Big whoop, they beat Yamcha. Next are my protagonist of the Goddess League, my fair lady. This time, Lady C is facing her seniors of Queen's Quest, but will fight hard. And Mai and Lady C really have stopped bickering. That was too quick. I wanted to go Egyptian mode a couple times. Out comes Aphrodite, Sayakamatani, and the royal queen Utami. And yes, I don't ever say her last name. People have literally spelled it out phonetically for me, and it's just embarrassing on my end. But Aphrodite is used to Lady C as they are teammates. But what are they gonna do against my nine point Sakurai, legendary warrior with fists of the crucible, who recently took a picture with Anakin Skywalker because my Sakurai was once a teammate teammate of Cosmic Angels and the cutest in the world and betrayed them because she's an evil Sith Lord too and didn't want to dance but fight because she's a super warrior with weapon arts passed from Egyptian times. What is Aphrodite to do? First, Lady C and Utami battle. The larger Lady C is not as powerful though and Utami wins that exchange and Aphrodite makes Lady C go, whoa, and then Saya like, whee. Utami back in, and now Lady C unleashes her cantankerous combat skills, big boot, and a clothesline. In comes the legendary Sith warrior of the cosmos, and Utami dodges, and whoop, that stopped Mai completely. And look at Mai go, you go Mai. In comes Lady C, who clobbers Kamatani. And now they stretch Aphrodite. Cervical clutches. And now Lady C, it's clobbering time. Big choke slam blocked. Kamatani rushes, leaped over, elbow strike, and a cross body on Lady C. Star Crusher blocked into a double team by My Fair Lady. Big choke slam hits, and Utami breaks it up. Lady C, with their advantage, goes for a Cobra Clutch, and up goes Mai with the legendary elbow of the gods, and a Cobra Clutch slam, but she holds on, rolls over, and now she stretches Saya. Oh my god, but Utami breaks it up though. Lady C with her finisher, but Utami with the assist, and Kamatani backflip. Mai tries to help, but... Double German drop kick combo, and now a star crusher by Kamatani for the one, two, three. And it seems Lady C did in fact receive the respect from her seniors. Next match is another Mai, Mai Hime versus BMI 2000. Not the actual main event, but you'll see why. Uwaka, who resembles a younger Natsuko from merely three years ago. And the bad boss leader of Uedo Tai, Natsuko Tora. And they're facing Mai Hime, who chose to come out to Micah's music today. Their marriage is getting on great. They're communicating and everything. And they work so well together, but things quickly break down and everyone goes on a tour on the outside. BMI gaining the advantage, of course, and taking it to Himeka inside. But Himeka is too jumbo for the normal size tactics of Natsuko. And in comes Micah, and they collide, and collide, and collide, and lariat. Uwaka in going, whoop. And Micah with strong girl moves. And in comes Himeka and Micah colliding. And double suplex. Uwaka returns with a flatline and sent on into a cross face Hazuki style. Micah assists and big exposed knee to the face. Himeka attempts to lift Uwaka, but she has trouble. And Uwaka returns fire with a cannonball from Natsuko and a splash from Himeka. But too close to the ropes. Himeka runs to the ropes and Natsuko strikes with the pie. And Wawaka Lariat, but Hameka kicks out. Not enough damage, Wawaka. Big vertical suplex leads to Wawaka up top for her big splash. 
but Micah with the huge superplex, double collide by the wives, and big sliding lariat, but Natsuko barely breaks it up. Into the corner for a lariat, and powerbomb by Himeka lands, and another sexy pin by No! Ruwaka kicks out! That's a huge kick out! Himeka lifts up Ruwaka, but she slips and ripcord Rainmaker! Tag! Frog splash by Natsuko, and Himeka kicks out! Match back in a widow ties control. That was a nice false finish. That's a big moment for Wawaka. Natsuko lifting a probe Himeka, but she just playing, y'all. And so is Natsuko. Spear by Natsuko, and Himeka kicks out again. Death Valley, no! Natsuko into the turnbuckle, but Himeka misses the splash, and oh! A widow tie cheating. Look at casual Saki. Oh! Death Valley driver to Himeka, and no! Himeka again with the kick out. So Natsuko up top for her swanton. And Maiko with the save. And BMI lariats them both. Stereo slams in the corner. And up top BMI goes. Wuwaka splash and the senton bomb for the victory. BMI dominated again for 8 points. And while Himeka wouldn't die, it mattered not. MVP award goes to Wawaka for that big kick out. Good match. Final match is Peach Rock, Momo Kogo, and Mayu Iwatani. Momo understands she's the weak link and that Mayu did all the work the last match. So she declares she will get the victory. And Mayu? You know, I wonder if there's anything going on in there or if it's just. <laughs> and they're facing against. Aphrodite? Wait, did Rossi book them twice in one night? Why? Like, why would you do that? Like, what are you doing? And they already failed the first take. Alright, take two. Action. And Saya like. And Utami like. Alrighty, Aphrodite, match two, here we go! The anime protagonist of stardom, if it was a TV show, the perfect audience eyes, Momo Kogo, a clumsy and low tier, but very relatable wrestler, especially at her older age. I never got around to making that Momo video, did I? But I see her as a former actress whose career did not go the way she wanted it to, and despite being in her mid-30s, she found a new passion in pro wrestling and discovered something that gives her meaning. I have no idea if that's true, but she just has that look of typical protagonist of a TV show. And one could follow her journey to learn about the rest of stardom lore. And she gets to team with the legend of the company, Mayu. And the fact that she's not that fluid in the ring just makes her all the more endearing. It writes itself. I'm a big fan. And out comes Aphrodite, who are sore from the last match because Rossi is a monster and is punishing Sayakamatani for spoiling every single secret in stardom. When Harry Potter was out, Saya was probably like, Dobby dies. Uh, wrong, whatever. Everyone dies. Momo volunteers, but Aphrodite all like, and Utami makes Saya go, and Momo unleashed! And look at her go! It's Komomo time! She's vicious! And Momo with the lift, no, Saya, no! And Momo slams Kamatani! But Saya returns fire and slams Komomo and tags in Utami, who also slams her down, and she's done. So in comes Kamatani with a slam, and oh no, here comes Utami with a slam! And back in Saya, what are you gonna do? A slam? Come on, Momo! First hit. Nope. Kamatani to tag Utami, but Utami tired. So Saya has to fight, but because she's exhausted, all of Komomo's strikes are working. They're working! A big drop kick on Saya, and in comes Mayu to take care of business. The GOAT, the icon, the ace of stardom herself, pulling her usual Mayu tricks and drop kicking Saya's face, but never toss Saya into the ropes. She always does this. In comes Utami with power moves, torture rack lit, but Mayu escapes, except she doesn't. Utami up top, stopped by Momo, and big old baseball strike by Mayu, and there's a scream. 
up top for a Frankensteiner and a perfectly delivered drop kick and an even perfect little cover knowing fully she's not getting the pin. I know every Mayu match is just me love bombing Mayu, but she's literally the best at even the simplest parts in a story. Komomo in with a head scissors, 619, and a crossbody. Mayu lit a fire, and Momo and her little 619 DDT is blocked into an air raid crash, but zombie Komomo rises with a drop kick, and she's after Utami. Both double team Utami, but she reverses out, tosses Momo into Mayu, who lives her out and perfect drop kick and then missile drop kick and Komomo with the 619 tornado DDT executed flawlessly. Saya breaks it up and saves the match with a drop kick on Peach Rock. The golden phoenix now flies onto stars. Inside Komomo facing Utami ready to finish her off but Komomo kicks out. You go Momo you go. She's doing it. If this was an anime the audience would be going. She's believing she's believing momo almost pins utami and gives her her best super kick yeah and knocks utami for a loop Komomo with the power up, but Utami with the counter lariat, but Mayu breaks up the pin. Aphrodite in for the magic killer on Komomo, and it hits. And Utami decides to finish Momo with a lifting German for the one, two, three. Aphrodite has won two matches in a single day. Fantastic teamwork from both. But this was Momokogo's best performance yet. She did her best as her anime monologue goes. I failed. I tried so hard to impress you, Mayu. But I let you down. And Mayu probably thinking of... Oh. As Komomo's arc of this tournament seems to simply be... Win for Mayu Iwatani as anime music sent us off like